Hi, I'm Stephen Walls. Welcome to a new episode on my Design to Visualization YouTube channel. I have been in the AEC industry since early 2003, helping out numerous companies across the world and have taken on many roles, from drafting and designing to model managing and implementing company-wide BIM and SIM standards, procedures, and workflows. Welcome to my weekly Design to Visualization video release, where I'll be reviewing advanced tools and workflows covering a multitude of design and visualization programs currently being implemented within the AEC industry. If you have any specific requests on what you'd like to see me review, or would even like to collaborate on these, feel free to reach out to me at stevewalls at hotmail.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-W-A-L-Z at hotmail.com. If you like what you see in these videos, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the lower right hand corner so that you can stay in the loop as I release new videos. Hope you enjoy. For this demonstration, I'm going to review the export to 3D model command within InfoWorks. And what we have here is our existing site that I developed uh, using Model Builder within InfoWorks. And I've overlaid a number of site features from my Civil 3D design. So what we're looking at right here is a wetland design for a new park. And you can see the terrain um, kind of goes up and down. And we've got some pocket pools for the wetlands. We've got some basic materials assigned to some of the features as well. And we also have a couple platforms and boardwalks and sidewalks to navigate through the park itself. You can see we have a stream in the back here as well. So let's go to the top view. Just so we can see everything from overhead. And then we're going to go to our settings and utilities and we're going to click on export 3D model. And here you can export from a polygon, a bounding box, or you could do the entire extents. We're going to do a bounding box. And we're going to clip a little extra just to make sure we don't have to go back and re-export this model at a later time. The target coordinate system. This isn't always necessary to define unless you're going to be doing some kind of augmented reality where it needs to be geo-referenced or bringing it into another uh, design software that where it needs to be geo-referenced. But for now we're just going to be bringing it into Lumion so it's not overly important. And let's save this as wetland design. And you can see we could export to FBX uh, DAE and OBJ files. We're going to use FBX and we're going to also export the materials as well um, just so I have a little better control over this in the rendering software within Lumion I want to make sure that merge objects is unchecked. Let this run and there you go. I've now exported my proposed design to an FBX file that I can bring into other software such as 3ds Max or Unity or Lumion and a number of other programs.